Hello everyone. We will start with a new topic. Our new topic is transport organizer. What is transport organizer? Word itself is saying its purpose is to organize the transports. With the help of this tool, we can create, document and release the transport request. Its purpose, it is a dedicated tool given by the SAP for creating, documenting and releasing the transport request. And the transaction code for the same is SC09 or SC10. If I will go to SC09 or SC10, it is a dedicated transaction code given by the SAP for the transport organizer. If you are going to SC10, one and the same purpose. Both transaction codes are for transport organizer. In the first playlist, when we cover the basics of ERP, SAP and ABAP, at that time, I told you how to create transport requests. What are the various systems in the SAP system landscape? Now it's a turn to dig down fully into the concept of transport request. Full explanation, full detailed explanation. Now, firstly, what is transport request? It is a mechanism by which you can transport the object, you can move the object or you can send the object from one system to another system. Now the question comes, what are those systems? We are talking about transporting the objects from one system to another system. So what are those systems? So in SAP system landscape, in SAP system landscape, we have always, always three types of system. In any project of SAP, we always, always has three systems in the SAP system landscape. One is development system, one is quality system, and one is production system. One is production system. And how the object, how the object will move from development to quality and quality to production through a mechanism which is called as transport request. Transport request is a mechanism to send the object from one system to another system. Now, firstly, we will dig down into these three types of system. Then we will dig down into the transport request concept. Now, what is development system? What is development system? Many times people will simply use the word in the project DEV slash CUST. Whenever someone is using this word, they are the abbreviations for the development system only. DEV stands for development. CUST stands for customization. So if someone is asking you what is DEV, what is the DEV system? So simple understanding, they are talking about development system. So abbreviations DEV slash CUST is used for the development system. Now, all the developments and the configuration will always, always be done in the development system. Suppose I want to develop a program. I want to develop a table. So I will always, always develop in the development system. Suppose we are going for any configuration. Suppose functional person is doing some configuration in the system. So he will always, always do in the development system. So development system is dedicated for all the developments and the configurations. Now, in that development system, 
we did all the developments and the configuration but how how those things will go to the quality system the developments and configuration move from development system to quality system through a mechanism which is called as transport request transport request yes how your development and configuration will go to quality with the help of transport request only now we will come on to quality system many time in the pe project people will simply use the term qas slash qtst quality assurance system quality test so these are the abbreviations for the quality system and whatever the development and configuration we did in development when they move to quality the testing for all the developments and configurations will be done in the quality system so quality system is dedicated for the testing purpose whatever the developments and configurations are there it will always always be tested into the quality system and your development and configuration move from quality to production through what through transport request yes because we will always move everything from one system to another system through transport request only now we have third type of system that's that is production system production and many time people will simply use the word where is the prd system what is your prd system or what is your prod system so just understand they are talking about production system so prd slash pord are the abbreviations for the production system only and it is your life system or customer base system customer business is always always running through production system only always customer business is always running through production system now people generally ask the question why we have three system landscape why why just think if we have only one system and customer business is running on that system and in the same system you will do development and configuration so customer business will impact at that point of time because of your changes so we always always has a three system hierarchy suppose whenever i want to do some development on configuration i will do in the development system then it will go to quality in the quality once the testing will be over then it will be delivered to the customer in the production system so always always your changes or your code changes should be never never done in the production system directly because it might be the case because of your changes customer business might might stop at that point of time so always always we have three system hierarchy in the development all development will be there in the quality all testing will be there and production is the live system once the testing will be over then it will be delivered to the customer so now what is the summary of this particular video in this video we start with the full dig down of the transport request so we started with transport organizer it is a tool given by the sap to organize the transports organize means you will create document and release the transport request and the transaction code for the same is sc09 or sc10 what is transport request it is a mechanism by which we can send the objects from one system to another system in sap system landscape we always always has three systems development quality production and how the object will move from one system to another system through transport request only for the development system the abbreviation is dev/cust 
your all development and configuration is always always in that development system and all development and configuration will move to quality through transport request in the quality system the abbreviation is qas slash qtst quality assurance system or quality test so testing of all the development and configuration is always always done in the quality system all testing you of your development and configuration is always in the quality system once the testing will be over we will move that particular development and configuration to the production system through what through transport request and what is production system the abbreviation is prd slash port it is a live system it is a customer based system and customer business is running through production system never we are never going for any development and configuration directly into the production system it's always always a hierarchy we need to follow in the next video we will fully dig down what are the types of transport request how to create types of transport request what are the various status of transport request what are the transport strategy so we will fully dig down into transport request so that's it in this video thank you